there, Browns fans. Welcome to Dog Blog Live, Cleveland.com's interactive show. It's all about you. Well, Brady Quinn has finally ended his holdout, just in time for the first preseason game on Saturday. But where does he fit in, and will fans forgive him? We headed to training camp to find out. Well, I think he hurt himself in terms of learning the system, but on the other hand, I don't think he should start as a rookie anywhere. My opinion is I don't think it'd be fair for him to step up and take it away from Anderson or Fry. I'm a big Quinn fan. I want to see him uh, take over eventually. He's too money hungry. He's just doing it for the money, and that's totally wrong. You know, it is a business, and he needs to look out for himself, and most people that understand that business aspect, they understand where Brady's coming from. Go Browns! <laughs> It's time for our mailbag segment. Last week we asked you about Romeo Cornell's future with the Browns. Cleveland.com's Alana Monroe has some of the best responses. Hey Alana, can you give this to Dan when you toss it over to him? Thanks Joey. Well, that was the highlight of my day. What's up Browns fans? Last week we asked you what you thought about Romeo Cornell and his future here in Cleveland. Here's some of the things you had to say. Big Dog Fan 19 says, Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art the winds, Romeo? Baybala adds, Cornell might be a good X and O's guy, but I just don't think this is the best place right now for his style and demeanor. Redman's Dog says, Romeo and Savage have done a good job so far with the draft picks. All right, well now to this week's topic and our new look offensive line. To discuss this, I'll shoot it over to Dan the Highlighting Man and Mike Conley. Guys? Thanks a lot, Alana. Mike Conley and Dan Lobby back for another week of talking Browns football with you, the best fans in the NFL. Today we'll talk about the new look offensive line and Dan, the Browns go out and spend a first round draft pick in selecting the mammoth offensive tackle out of the University of Wisconsin, Joe Thomas. He now becomes the starter along the left side because Kevin Schaefer, last uh, year's uh, offseason acquisition, has to move to the right side to take over for suspended Ryan Tucker who got the four game suspension because of steroid use. Well, Kevin Schaefer belongs on the right side. I don't trust him protecting the blind side of the quarterback, whoever that might be. But what I really like is the depth on this line this year. In past years, they've had injuries. They haven't been able to have guys step in. But now they've got Lenny Friedman, Isaac Souls, Kelly Butler. You've got to think two of those three guys could step in if needed because there will be injuries on that line. Well, gone are Cozy Coleman and Joe Andrews, two guys that are kind of road graders along the middle of the line taking their place as McKinney and Steinbach, two very athletic guards that can finally get outside the pocket and pull, which is music to the ears of Jamal Lewis, whoever's running the, uh, the ball for the Browns. So uh, from top to bottom, kind of a new group of guys. The chemistry is going to be important, Dan, but the way it looks on paper right now, this is probably one of the top units on the team. And what I like is you could legitimately look at the left side of that line and say it's a strong side. So they can just pound Jamal Lewis on that left side. And like you said, a guy like Seth McKinney can pull to the left and maybe serve as another lead blocker along with their fullback, and we might actually get to see some big runs this season. We may actually even get to see our quarterbacks through a pass, because they maybe have some time to be able to sit back there in the pocket this year. All right, well, the Charles Bentley's another question mark is uh, if he does return and come back onto the field and join this team, uh, he'll just add more depth to an already impressive unit. Joey, we're going to go ahead and send it back in the studio to you and uh, the rest of Dog Blog Live. So what do you think of the Browns' new look offensive line? Post your comments below and we'll read them on next week's show. It's now time to look at some of the photos you've sent in. Browns fan 621 snapped this shot of Derek Anderson signing autographs after practice. TKBK took this photo of Eric Wright running drills in Berea. And Corporal Aaron Kessler shows off her Cleveland pride in Iraq. You can send your Browns photos by clicking on the link below. We're also looking for your Browns related YouTube videos. Click on some of the links on this page to get an idea of what we're looking for. The best one will receive an awesome gift package from Cleveland.com at the end of the season. Up next, the predictors tackle the preseason opener. Predictors. Chiefs 17, Brown 7. And you can take that to the bank and cash it. What are we talking about? Preseason? Preseason. We're talking about preseason. Chiefs 20, Browns 9. Dorsey to Mosley. Book it. Predictors. That does it for this week. Join us next time on Dog Blog Live when we'll break down the preseason opener against the Chiefs.